Hi, okay, how to make a candle. First, we're gonna take our palm oil and we're going to put it into our pan and we're gonna let that melt. We're gonna let it melt to about 180 degrees. So I'm just gonna stir it up. I've had some oil in here already, heating up a little. So that's in here, heating up. I've also got this so I can measure the heat. So I put this in here, and when this gets to be 180 degrees Fahrenheit, that is when it's ready. And right now we're at 170, 180. Good. Okay. So I'm going to turn that off right now. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to make four candles. This first one's olive leaves. So I'm going to take this, and this is my measuring cup, and this is 15 milliliters, or one tablespoon. And I fill this up to the top, and I pour it in. Take another one, fill this up, pour it in. That's one, so I'm making those olive leaves. Now, I'm going to make kumquat and fig, so I'm going to make two kumquat and fig candles. Fifteen milliliters. Now, the glass size that I'm using is a five ounce cup. So, in a five ounce cup, we're using one tablespoon of fragrance. Put this right here. Next, I need to get my wicks ready. So, I have four wicks. And these are the 45 ply wicks. They're pre-waxed, so they'll stay kind of stiff. And I kind of just measure it to make sure it goes down to the bottom before I put it in. And this one's perfect. So that's there. So then I just kind of eyeball it and I get a couple more ready. So there's another one. And another one. And another one. Okay, so I have my candles poured. Then I'm gonna take this. This is gonna catch so I don't spill on anything. I just come over here to my wax. It's already heated to the right temperature. And come over here. I'm gonna fill up all four of these. It's one. And I fill them almost to the top because they do shrink a little bit. And um, we want to try to get it, but we don't want to go to the very top because you're going to have problems with your wicks. So you go almost to the top. And there we go. So now I've poured my four wicks, my four candles rather, and now I'm going to wick them. And the wicks go all the way down to the bottom. Do my next wick. Put it on there. Make sure it's centered. Next candle. Sometimes you have to pull the wicks out a little bit because they are not always going to be exactly the right length. But they should touch the bottom of the candle. And that's it. Now I need to let these cool. The other things I have, these are the bottom jar sticker labels. These are for the olive leaves. And these are the bottom jar sticker labels for the kumquat and fig. I've got my boxes. And then later we'll be putting on the stickers for the candles on the front of the jar. But we need to let these cool. So um, that's it for now. Um, when these cool, we'll finish up the candles. So you can stop. Okay, so the candles have cooled and now I'm going to get them ready. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, cut the wick shorter. And I don't want to cut them too short. I'm going to take these off. And then we are going to put the bottom jar sticker labels on the autumn olive leaves.
and the bottom dry sticker labels on the kumquat and figs. Then we put the front sticker label on. Just try to make these straight. Put them on the same direction where the front of the label is. So those two are done. And then for the final steps, we will take the candle and we will drop it in the box, put the lid on, Make sure the bows are tied really nicely. I don't normally tie the bows, but it takes a little bit of practice. Make sure you get them straight. Then you will take your candle and you will slip the sleeve back on and you are finished. That is how you make a candle. Thanks.